this chapter, we are going to continue our conversation on conversion tracking and talk about phone call tracking. Just to reiterate, if your business gets more than, you know, around 10, 15, 20% of your leads, purchases, activity comes through phone calls, then it's really important to set up call tracking. Even if it's less and you have the time and you have the team and you have the ability to track phone calls or something that you want to do, then by all means, absolutely um, you know, create call tracking. There's three ways like we spoke about in the initial conversion tracking video to track phone calls. Well, there's really four, um, but the main three ways are tracking phone calls from ads themselves, whether one way is through a call only campaign, which we're gonna set up in a second. The other way is through a call extension and the other primary way of, of tracking phone calls is by creating dynamic number insertion on your website where if somebody comes to your website for through an ad, Google will, all, will automatically swap out your number with a Google forwarding number. A lot of businesses don't wanna do that because it takes away a little bit of branding if you have a branded um, phone number and either way dynamic numbers insertion is not something we're going to cover now because it's not one of the primary ways of tracking phone calls. The primary ways of tracking phone calls are call only campaigns and tracking phone calls through ad extensions. So let's go ahead first and set up a call only campaign. As its name suggests, a call only campaign is for that purpose only. People are only able to call you. They run specifically on mobile devices Call only campaigns run exclusively on mobile devices and the headline of the ad turns into your phone number. If somebody clicks the headline of your ad, you get charged for a click and then the person's smartphone has a dialogue, do you wish to call this number? That's what a phone, that is what a, um, a call only campaign essentially does. You still have your display URL, you still have your ad extensions, you still have your at lines of text but the headline becomes your phone number and you could track calls and you could track calls from those call only ads through conversion tracking and that's something which is automatically set up for you you don't need to add a tag to your site it's completely automatic as long as you're using a Google forwarding number so let's go ahead and set up a call only campaign to do that we click on our plus campaign button and we choose search network only in this dialogue over here we add we select call only Okay, and let's create, um, uh, let's, let's call this, you know, office chairs, call only. And we still will use all the same targeting methods. We still use keywords, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but our ads are gonna be call only ads, okay? And we can go through here to different settings, include the search partners. And if we see here, Google's telling us with a call only campaign, ads are only gonna run on devices that can make calls. We could choose our targeting. Let's say for this, um, I wanna just target, target the United States. And I can choose different types of uh, bid strategies. If I wanna just do a manual CPC, like I, we usually do, our default bid will be, um, you know, let's say $2 and a, let's say a $10 daily budget. Go ahead, skip through our scheduling and create, save and continue. And here we go, we have to name our ad group. So we'll do office chairs. And I'm just gonna run through this quickly because I'm not gonna um, spend so much time on creating a really great um, name. Our business name is Poppin Office Furniture. And let's say our number is 897 two, three, seven, six, five, two, one. And over here in our preview, Google's showing us exactly what it's gonna look like on a mobile phone, all right? And it's just as I described. The headline of the ad is call and then your number, which is clickable. I'll put my number in parentheses, I'll make a space, make it look a little prettier, and there you go. And we can create a description. Office chairs, um, ready to ship. Call now to place your order. And you can do by phone if it doesn't fit. You know, your you know, we can maybe do call now to place your phone order. There you go. And obviously this is not a perfect ad, but you're getting a sense of exactly what this looks like. And the display URL. 
The main thing you want to worry about with the display URL in your um, call only campaigns is quality score. So if we're going to be running office chair related keywords, we want to have our quality score functionality in our display URL uh, destination um, because that's going to help us get a higher quality score for our keywords. And this is the important thing. Keep this selected, a Google forwarding phone number and use call reporting. Okay, this is the really important thing. Google's going to swap out this number um, or it might show this number at times, but when you call it, it's going to call a different number. And it's going to be routed through Google's forwarding number and it's going to um, actually ring on the number that you put up here in the phone number box. And report conversions is you want to keep that selected count calls as phone call conversions. And over here, we only have one conversion action available, calls from ads. But we could create new conversion actions and have it labeled separately. But for now, we'll just call it calls from ads, which is fine. And then you have our keyword targeting. So I'm just going to add all these. You know, these are obviously not all the keywords, and most of them are probably not even keywords I want. But the point of this chapter is not to focus on keyword targeting so much. Um, we want to just show you how the call tracking works. We'll go ahead and click Save Ad Group, and we're getting a warning. What is our warning? Invalid phone number for the selected country. URL must start with a scheme. I see. Okay. So we have to just copy the proper URL. Okay. And we need to have a valid phone number. So this is obviously not a USA area code. That one is. And we'll click save. All right. So now that we have our um, campaign, which is our call only campaign, I'm going to want to first go ahead and pause that campaign so I don't spend any money. But notice how I was cognizant of adding call only as a name of the campaign. That's because the icon, which is the magnifying glass, is the same as any search network campaign, and there's no way to easily tell if this is a call only campaign or not. So I want to just add in call only over here. You could add a column campaign subtype, but I don't like doing that because it just makes my columns really crowded. But just to show you what that looks like, we go over to columns, modify columns, attributes, campaign subtype, and click save. And under campaign subtype, down here on the right, it'll show you all features. Um, and down here, it'll show you call only. Okay, so that will be our campaign type. But I just put in call only inside the title because it makes it a little easier for me to recognize. Now, if we want to see conversions, people who actually click, um, you might be asking, doesn't every click mean a phone call? And the answer is no. You might, and you will actually, almost for sure, you'll get more clicks than phone calls. And that's because if somebody clicks the headline of your ad, they first have to choose yes to call you from their iPhone or Android phone's dialogue. Even if they choose no not to call you or the call doesn't go through, you still get charged for a click. That's something which is very important to keep in mind. Having a click on your call only ad does not mean you received a phone call or received a phone conversion. To see our conversions for calls from ads, we need to go through tools. Not to change history, let me go back. You click on tools and then you click on conversions. And this is the report which is going to show us all our conversions together, including calls from ads. Now, as you see, there is no calls from ads conversion that was added. We have to go ahead and add that conversion. So we hit plus conversion and we follow through a similar process, but instead of clicking website, we click phone calls. And now we have some options selected or some options presented to us that we could choose from. So this, what we're doing here is selecting the source, the source of the phone calls that we want to track. So the first option tells us we could track calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. This is the option that we're going to want to select. The further options are calling to a phone number on your website. This is what is included with the DNI, the dynamic number insertion, which we're not doing, and clicks on your number on your mobile website. This is if you have a mobile optimized site and your number is clickable, we could track those calls as well. And that's something we spoke about in the first conversion video. These two. The second and third option here require adding a tag and will not work just with our Google forwarding numbers. So the first option is exactly what we want to select. And we click continue. And once again, we're going to have a whole bunch of options. We'll click a name. So we'll just call it calls from ads because we're just going to be tracking one. 
We don't know exactly how much it's worth, so we will click don't assign a value. And this is the other important thing, call length. This is another reason why you're not gonna have as many conversions as clicks on your ads, because a conversion is only counted after a call is passes your threshold of deeming it a valuable call. And this is a really important feature because sometimes you'll get somebody who calls and they're a bad customer. Um, it's clearly not the right type of business that they're calling for them and they'll hang up and the call will end under a certain amount of time. What you're doing here is you're saying, how long should a call last for me to reasonably assume it was a good, valuable phone call that I was happy paying for, that I'm happy that my advertising brought in? Some businesses, some of our clients tell us three minutes. Some of our clients tell us 30 seconds. It's gonna be different for your business. So you have to think about what is an appropriate length of call before it gets counted as a conversion. So let's say we decide it's two minutes. So I'll put in 120 seconds and click done. That means if a phone call from an ad lasts less than 120 seconds, or it lasts one minute, I still get charged for a click, but I don't show a conversion. No conversion will be recorded under my calls from ads conversion. Um, let's say we choose unique conversions again. Our conversion window could be 30 days. Our category could be lead, but you might want to change it to something else. We could do, we could, we could call it other. Um, and once again, the optimization you leave as is, and you click save and continue. And now you have um, all our things set up that we need to configure for our conversion tracking to work. And Google gives us an option to now either close this dialog, go to call only ads, or go to call extensions. I'm going to close it for now. And over here we see we now have a new conversion action calls from ads okay now the second way of tracking phone calls from ads is through ad extensions so for example let's just go to a google search and type in um, um, office furniture for sale and i'm sure we're going to see some call extensions in these ads on desktop okay so let me zoom in and these first three ads i'm not seeing any call extensions Let's see if we have any ads on the side of the page that have call extensions. I am not seeing any ads with call extensions, so I was wrong. Um, let's try office chairs for sale near me. Let's see if this brings us anything better. Um, Uline, not seeing anything there. And once again, we're looking pretty weak on call extensions here. Ah, here we go. Target. Target's using a call extension, okay? So this is a call extension. We want to make sure that we're doing in our campaign, if we want to track this call, we want to make sure we have Google forwarding numbers enabled for our call extensions. And we also want to make sure our call extensions are enabled. So let's go back to our um, account dashboard and we'll go over to our campaigns and we'll go take a look at our ad extensions. To get to our ad extensions, we have to click on the ad extensions tab. And we can do that from the account view, which is reviewing all campaigns, campaign view or ad group view. I'm gonna to go to it from the account view, go to our ad extensions, and I wanna go and view our call extensions. And we see we have one call extension created, 211-876-9876, okay? Um, and it shows us down here which campaigns are using it. So our USA Furniture Desk Chairs campaign is using it. So that's excellent, that's great. But I wanna make sure that our Google forwarding number option is enabled. And I'm pretty sure that we did, but let's just go and double check. It can't hurt to be safe. So I'll click on edit. And I'll click once again on edit on under the phone number dialog. And I'll make sure that Google forwarding numbers are is, is selected. And now we could go ahead and track, and now these phone calls will be tracked in that same conversion. If I chose my own phone number, then I'll have no conversions being tracked. But if I collect Google forwarding the phone number, my phone numbers all right now will be tracked. Click save. Once a client, I can click save. I don't need to do anything else. And now I'm good. The main thing to keep in mind is if we go back to tools and conversions, both of those conversions are going to be tracked inside this conversion action. So if I see, you know, five conversions here, let's say, you know, in a week from now, I have five conversions for calls from ads. They might, some of them might be calls from a call only campaign, and some of them will be calls from our call extensions. And that's why we're gonna be able to use segmentation. If we go over to campaigns, we might be able to segment out the campaigns. If I go to click on segmentation, oops, I clicked on product groups, okay, campaign. 
I click on segment, conversions, conversion name. And because I have no conversions in this case, we're not going to see any segmentation under the side, un, underneath each campaign. But if we had conversion data, I would see that the Poppin USA Furniture Desk Chairs campaign had two phone call conversions, while my call only campaign might have had three phone call conversions. So while under my tools conversions report, all five will be lumped together under calls from ads, I'll be able to see which campaign drove those calls, which ad groups within those campaigns, which keywords within those campaigns drove those calls. Um, so that's exactly what you need to know for 99% of the phone call tracking that you're going to do. So keep in mind, through form submissions, through these phone call tracking systems, it's really, really crucial to start getting that information, which keywords, which match types, which variations of keywords, what times of day, what geographic locations, who is converting on your site and what areas of your account are converting on your site and how much is it costing you to get those conversions. That's the most important data that you're going to be able to generate for you to optimize campaigns and to see whether or not you're successful. I've seen this hundreds of times. Companies that are not tracking conversions are losing, is, are losing money, they're frustrated, and they have no idea whether or not their campaigns are successful, and they ultimately will quit. Our clients that are tracking conversions and our clients that we've helped set up conversion tracking properly are seeing a tremendous amount of success because they all of a sudden see which keywords are leading to conversions, which keywords are never leading to conversions, but more importantly, how much are they paying to get those conversions? They might see, we might see a keyword, or you might see a keyword that is bringing in conversions at you know $12 a conversion, but you might know that that's too expensive. You might know that $12 a conversion is losing you money. So you gotta cut that out and, and pause that keyword or lower the keywords max CPC bid. There's a lot of different things that you could do to fix your cost per conversion or to lower your cost per conversion or increase your conversions. But if you don't know your conversions, if you don't know which keywords and ads and, and, and campaigns and times of day and schedules are leading to those conversions, if you don't know which areas of your account are driving the sales and driving your business and, and making good use of your advertising dollars, there's no way that you could possibly optimize your campaign like a pro. So, set up the call tracking, set up form submission tracking, do whatever you can to make sure that those are in place really, really well. And then make sure you have your converted click column, your cost per converted click, your click conversion rate, your total conversion value, and once again, super important, your conversion value divided by cost, which is your ROI. Make sure these four columns here are always open. Make sure you have these columns open for your ad group level, your keyword level, and your campaign level because these are really, really important columns and they'll be able to show you exactly what you need to succeed. Um, and they'll show you how your campaigns are doing and they will give you the first direction which areas of the, cam of the campaigns you should be optimizing. So that's it for conversion tracking for now. We will cover more advanced features of conversion tracking in some bonus lessons soon to come. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you very shortly. Cheers for now.